Hello guys, how are you doing? So excited to, to, to this new format that I'm going to do on YouTube in most of the videos. Remember, I'm going to upload the best video of the series, in my opinion, of course. But remember that below the video, below the video, yeah, yeah, below the video, in the description, there's the full series. So if you don't want to get spoiled and you want to watch the full series, you have that option. You have that option. I'm doing this because for the YouTube algorithm, it's better, smaller, shorter videos. You know, hopefully you, you enjoy with the new system. In some situations, I will do the full series, but I will let you know always before the upload. Don't forget, please, to subscribe, thumb up, and leave it a commentary. But subscribe is so damn important. Thank you for watching, guys. We love this game. Whoa! Doubt Viper, Tatot, and uh, ACCM are the pros. Okay. And we are now starting. Yeah. Okay, we keep going, guys. We keep going with the game number four. And uh, I thought I had the capture rate already activated, but now we have activated. And this is Gold Rush. Okay. Uh, doubt uh, Red and um, Doubt is option one in bettings. Hira option two. He's using Franks versus Tatars. Very interesting matchup, to be honest. But this Gold Rush is kind of different. I mean, this gold rush, it's, it has a lot more spread, uh, the gold. I don't know if you agree. Of course, if you make a castle on top of that hill, you still get a huge advantage. But it seems that it's not that... Hmm. Doesn't look like it's that... That clone map. What do you think, guys? It's definitely more, much more different than this one. Like, the gold rush is completely spread out all over the middle. So, I don't think that, uh, yeah. Well, there's a lot of lions or wolves. In this case, it's lions. Yeah. Well, I actually think you can. I think you can make a TC here. You can make a tone center. Not here because the relic. But you can make a tone center in this area. In those areas, for sure, you can make a TC. In all these areas, you can. Yeah. Anyway, let's see. Ooh, the noise are crazy, huh? Okay, Franks was a little bit nerfed. Now, it's not 25% anymore, the, the berries. The extra speed that you get with the, with the foragers, but it's 15%. I don't know if it was needed, that nerf, but still. And then three villages, so he's gonna go scout, it seems. Pretty much. Yeah, I don't think, because... Uh, Franks are kind of... A predictable civilization. You, you will go knights. Like, no matter what. So... It's not a civilization that has a lot of choice, right? So if you nerf them, the, the, the only advantage they have, then... They they start to become a little bit trash. Not that they are bad, because they still oh, yeah. have some advantage in that, but... Okay. Oh, yeah. But 15% is not that great. Okay. He's pushing the ostrich. He's still taking all the food there. Alright. They are going for the scouts. That's pretty obvious. They have three villages on wood, both. Also going here, militias, like, I don't know if it makes sense. Like, maybe to bring the lions, but nothing else because your militia will be also in, in danger. So let's see. They will go scouts and what? We'll do just a scout transition to castles, a scout and, and try to go for for arches as well. I don't think so. They, they are going up 20 population, 19 villages. Actually, they are going 19 population, not not 20. 18 delays, okay. And the scout, that's pretty sick. Nice. Here is up. 
already and Daud is up too with five six seconds difference not not too big remember that tatar has got great bonus with those herd balls those great goat sheeps or whatever it gets 50 percent more and that's a lot seriously a lot yeah can you Okay, you can palisade here easily. Let's go with the fog of war. Okay. Didn't find his opponent yet. He will uh, just now. But this is very easy just to palisade here. Maybe even here and this one. So the gold is more protected. Because if you will... You see? Uh, you see? Ah! Beautiful! Yeah, because if you will like this, the gold is... Pr is... Is... In danger. You wall like this, the goal is safe. Okay. And now blue. It's gonna explore everything. Yeah, I know he's walling. That's very very nice map here for very nice map here for, for doubt, honestly. He has the scout in, and yeah, his map is great, to be honest. Hiram map, it's not terrible, like, not super difficult to wall this area. This is more open, but it's still, for these players, are, it's fine, it's gonna be arena soon. Okay. Of course, they will go some walls, and now we have to check that he has only one Lambert camp. With 8 villages on wood, you see the distribution here, 12 on wood, 7 on foot. You need to make farms as fast as possible, and this is exactly what he's doing. Well, Blue, probably he can hold a little bit more, because he has all those codes that are amazing. And like I told you, it's not a problem. Hira will have 1, 2, 3 villages wall in, and arena style very soon. Doubt the same. Wall in completely. Guys! Every map, no matter what they do, they convert into this kind of a strategy. They just go for Castle Age. Well, and go for Castle Age. This is the meta for Salam. the pros. Except if you play like Hoan and when Tato is going all feudal with that account he has. Okay, this good thing is that Tato... No, no, no. Now he's going to... Yeah, he has to... To wall that a little bit. Okay. Salam. Hey, Yarman. Well, the scouts are coming. He's gonna be fine. He's a scout with more HP, remember? Doubt the scout got more HP, so you need to, to mass a little bit more than Hira, or at least the same numbers, and then it should be fine. Hey. He's gonna be walling. I'm checking now, 8 villages on wood, both 15 on foot. That's the way to go. As much as possible on foot, 10 maximum on wood, then full farms. Obviously with Franks is amazing because you got the horse color for free. And that helps, that obviously helps. And it helps even more when you reach Castle Age. Heavy blow, crop rotation for, for, for Imp, that's amazing. I want to ask you something. When 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 France got not free upgrades in the farmers, that wasn't that long ago. Do, did they have cross rotation? Because I don't think they got the farm upgrade in Imperial. I think they have now, but I don't think they they got it back in the days. I never re I don't remember ever doing that upgrade with Franks. They always had free farms upgrade. Always have free farm. Uh, I'm not sure about that. France got always the 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 free upgrades. Always, okay. That's maybe a good reason why I don't remember the crop rotation. Huh. I mean, I'm kind of confused with so many so many balance. I don't remember which has been new. Which has been hey. up uh, just forever. Hey, I just don't remember anymore. Because there's been so many changes. And sometimes they change back, you know. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyway, resources looking good. 
14 on foot. 9, yeah. They keep 9 on wood. And then everything else on foot. Coming with a spear. I like the spears option. Trying to attack. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Okay, double RT range. And he's on the way to castle is doubt. In this kind of situation, usually doubt is very sick. Super fast. He got the wheelbarrow. Well, Hira doesn't have the wheelbarrow. And he will go up with five villains more. After this villain, I believe. And he's gonna go cap archers versus knights. He has seven villains on... No, six villains on goal. And everything else is on foot and 11 on wood. Okay. Seven, eight... And then three. Don't like that. Should be more balanced. He's doing a stable there. I will make a TC where? Well, if you see it, I think a tall center here to take a stone is great. And another TC in this area to protect the goal. Except that he wants to make a TC in the middle. We will see. Is Dao going to make a house? Or we're gonna let it open? Well, I can't claim it. Okay, now I can. Yeah, he would make a house. He's fine. I think he leave this open, which is bad. And like I was, sus yeah, I was suspicious about. He's gonna go siege, or gonna go TC forward. TC forward is kind of greedy, so I believe he's gonna be siege. Yeah, he's too forward already, so definitely he's going to see to our shop. He wants to take the wood. I like this aggression. Finally, going really aggressive. Doubt coming with the siege to our shop. And what he really wants is to get the hill under control. Tatars shine because of those hills advantage. But if you don't give the hill advantage to them, they won't have like so much bonus at all. But they still have Thumbrin. They still have the Thumbrin. He's doing the Step Lancers. Okay. The Step Lancers. Oh boy. I like it that. They take the Siege fast. One range also. He's coming with the, with the Knights. Also some Spears. We will see. The mine will happen. Obviously. He's doing a mining camp here. Okay. Doing the monastery and not doing any extra TC, right? No. For now, he's going 1 TC push. Well, not push, you know, but 1 TC. Those Cavars is going to be with both Kinaro now. They got Thumbrin and Bloodlines. <laughs> he's gonna get inside with the Knights. The Cav Archers, he need to mass more. The nice and the Mangonel is going to be difficult to stop. Let's see what Kira can do. Kira is one of the best players doing... I mean, defending. But this army... It's, it's risky, man. It's dangerous. It is really dangerous. He's going for the mining cap on the left. He's trying to go from behind with the Step Lancer, but he can't. He got it spotted. I was gonna put all the villains on goal and few villains on wood here. Has to be careful, man. Has to be really careful there. He's coming with the knights. Look at the mangrel. Also some spears. Need to go back. Now he's gonna kill with the with the monk. Also he can convert some knight or spear. But you don't want to lose the monk. Exactly. You don't want to lose the monk. What? I hate when the players are doing this. He deleted the mangrel, man. To make damage and then he did nothing. What the fuck? Seriously. Stop deleting the mangonels, man. Like this kind of bugs is, is crap. Seriously. Well he's taking now few villages. You hear uh? But there's still five villages ahead. He should make a house and palace head. So the knights can't go there. He's gonna make some house and some palisade. Hey, hey, yeah, oh boy. Yeah, those knights are bye-bye. He's coming with more. 
He has his tip lances here. So to be careful. He's a body side here. That's a nice stone center. Yeah, that's definitely a nice TC. And he's doing a tone center and no problem in anymore. Salam. Now those lancers he got with two spears. No no no. Micro man. Micro! Ay ay ay. That's the plan lines, but I don't know if he has the husbandry. Population difference is almost nothing. The score is kinda scary, but but the population is similar, you know? And both got two tone centers, so I don't know why this the score difference is that big. Maybe maybe it's uh Yeah. When you delete Yeah. When you delete you make a lot more damage, more splash damage like you say. For example, if you attack with a with a mangonel and you go crown attack into the arches and then you delete it, you pretty much kill all the arches all the time. You know? Oh god, he's going to convert now. He won't convert. That was too close. He's holding well. It's crazy how under the pressure he is still with more villages than doubt. It's really crazy. Seriously. Amazing, I would say. Not only crazy, amazing. Yeah. Okay, on the other side. That's one, two tone centers and now doing the 30C at Calm. All right. Where's gonna be the 30C for Hira? On the stone, I like it. So they are not going to the goal because they feel like the middle is, is important, but it's not that crucial. You, you cannot really take it. Oh boy. Okay, the nice catch up those that lancer and kill it. Need to be careful with that kill. Oh wow, nice split. And now taking the mine all fast. Universe. Sorry guys, my wife was around. Wanted to kiss her, but she's gone, guys. No kiss. Holy sofa, guys. It's what it is. 57 villains, 13 army, 2 villains more only. Knight and Mangal is still with the heal advantage. That's good. Upgrades. He got plus one plus one. Well, uh, no armor yet for the cab archers. Okay. And um, Mm -mm -mm. Need to move, has to be careful, and he's going back. Problem with these units is that the cab arches. Oh. No, no, no. This is starting to be many knights. This is starting to be many knights. But, let's see the micro. Ouch. 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 Ouch, Kira, that was a good bada boom by, by doubt. Has to be careful. <clears throat> Kira is still ahead in villages. But he will need to start to make maybe some camels? I don't know. Nobody made camels with Tatars. He's killing those cav arches. The, no the army numbers is increasing for doubt. And it starts to be. Dangerous. I think the plus two knights will be great in this situation. Yeah, but people not don't use the camels. And he has to be careful because soon he won't be able to to have gold. Oof! Oh my goodness! Ba -ba -boom. <coughs> Good mic on a shot. Definitely a good mine on a shot, three villages. Now the village numbers catch up. Definitely by far this is the best game of the series. Finally some close game with good action. Trying to attack. They are not attacking a lot because they are being really careful. But now you need to be connected. Three more Lancers. He has to be careful. He's going to convert. No. Oof. Oof. He's gonna take the Mangonel man. Very fast and easy. There you go. Look at that raid. Now he's doing a great job here. I mean, Hira is doing an amazing job with this army. And if you micro properly and now convert a couple of knights, he's just gonna dominate and kill absolutely everything. Look at the military numbers, playing amazing, really well. Really, really good. Yeah. Those Cavarchers, remember that now they are stronger than before, so... 
And, but the knights are plus two. Uh, husbandry? I'm not sure if they have the husbandry. Yeah, it's kind of difficult right now. He's going back. Okay, he's going to the... To take the position there. Yeah. I like this battle a lot. A lot. Nice stone center, by the way. Doubt. Very good one. 4TC for doubt. But Kira is starting to have the stone to make a castle. And I will do it here. Well, but I like this gold rush. You see? I mean, when I see something that don't like, I say. But when I see something that I like, I say too. This gold rush doesn't doesn't look like, okay, now Kira do a castle in the middle and it's over. No. This is a much better gold rush. Than the original, honestly. Yeah, look at the castle. You know? I wouldn't make the, ca the castle there, really. I will do it here, honestly. Where here is going? Make it here, man. Seriously. Let's go to his point of view for war and see what he see. Castle here, man. He probably don't want to get the... Oh my god, but... Well, that's a good castle too because he's taking the gold from... Taking the TC from... Uh, but... Oh shit. Well, it's a scorpion. He has to be careful. The castle is happening with so many villages. And that's brutal, really. It's a really great castle by Hira. I don't know if the knight will be able to deal this couple of monks. There's a scorpion as well. The lancer is gonna take over. He's now taking two knights. Only one knight is walling with the house. Remember Tatar's kill advantage also doing an amazing job there with, with that bonus. But now... Daud gonna make a castle here, and then he will make a, a mining camp here, and that's it. Yeah, take in the middle. Great. So both we have a castle, and honestly... Oh, take one villager. Castle is there, but he denied that DC. And now, Daud has 91 villagers. He has 82, so he has 10 villagers more. He need this... Oh my god! For you, Doubt. <laughs> well, what is a series without without a Doubt castle? And now this is game over, obviously. Because Doubt, it's failing. Second castle here for Kira is just insane. Now he has no army, nine army. The village numbers again, Kira is ahead. And uh, disaster, real disaster by Doubt. Yeah, well, he has one billion. Yeah, that was a really brave one. Coming with more billions here. Sending... <laughs> yeah, yeah, they lead the castle, man. Well, it's 90%. The lead is useless, to be honest. Now he's going for the gold. He can still take the gold. It's the good thing with this gold rush. But now, Daud got no army. It's completely game over. He just failed big time here, not doing that castle. And that was expected, because since he was getting a really lo big loss, he should make a safe castle like here, for example. But he wanted the, the most greedy one, without army. So look at the score difference now. It was a nice game, and he just did one move and lost the game completely. 3-1 for the Canadian, from for Hira, guys. Oh boy, domination, guys. Domination, damn it. Yeah, well, is what it is, guys. Is what it is. In this game, one bad decision like this is game over. You have seen when I'm playing also the matchmaking. When I have these kind of decisions, like at any level, you know, it's completely GG. Military, here at 26 largest army, 20. This unit skill difference was just at the end. Economy, doubt, 3,000 more food, more wood, and more gold. More everything by, by much, much better macro. But he fight wars with the units. He lost the battle, lose the game. I mean, lose the castle up and, and, and lost the game. Incredible, right? Game number four is gone. Let's go for the next.